Hey there, my name is Wellens, and today we're gonna check out The Station. The Station is a first-person sci-fi mystery set on a space station. What a big surprise, right? Sent to study a sentient alien civilization. Assuming the role of a recon specialist, players must unravel a mystery which will decide the fate of two civilizations. So upon reading that description right there, there's a few things that make me immediately go, oh, Tacoma? We're going to explore a space station, so that's definitely a big commonality here. But where Tacoma focuses on character relationships, just from looking at the promotional materials for the station, I feel like it's gonna focus more on the plot happenings and the mystery. So I guess we'll see what that's about. How many millions of hours have been spent studying space in the pursuit of finding life in the universe? So what would happen if we found it? Not bacteria or an invertebrate, but an entire sentient alien civilization. Questions we've been asking since the beginning of time could finally be answered. But what if the alien species was discovered in a planet-wide civil war? Imagine the debate that would start. Fear is blinding us. Everything our society has done has led us to this very moment. We can't ignore this. What safety and security will be found in contacting a violent alien race? Is this worth risking our safety, our security? As a compromise, a three-person team on board an undetectable space station is sent to research the alien world. Halfway through the mission, the space station's communication, navigation, stealth, everything mysteriously shuts down. Great. <laughs> Proof that we were spying on a potentially violent alien civilization now floats helplessly above them. In a panic to understand what happened, a recon specialist is sent to investigate and coordinate a rescue with the crew. And that's why we're here. Oh, there it is. It's very vague, but you can see the, yeah, the station right there. Approaching the Espial. Security lockdown active. Structural damage detected. Primary systems unresponsive. It's mysteriously gone dark. Oh no, this is not going to be good for me, because I really, I really don't like the dark. <laughs> Are docking functions something that still work even when there's no power? Apparently so. Hey, they still have power. Somewhat. Oh wow, we're just gonna walk out of our spaceship. Like it's a shower or something. Welcome to the Espial. Espial. Okay, right off the bat, the mouse feels a little funny, and I just looked in the settings and I don't see an option to change the sensitivity, so this might be a little rough. Espial. Okay. Doesn't seem very secure if we can just walk right in. Insert power cell. Why? Is there no power? Oh. Screener malfunction. Replace realign power cell to begin scan sequence. We need to get scanned before we go in. Tetron multi sync cell. All right. So it's kind of like Tacoma, where we can examine the objects that we're holding. Oh. Handle with care. Use Tetron powered sync centers for resync. Initiating scan. Are there no subtitles? Scan complete. Augmented reality systems now available. Can I just have a quick check here? I thought I had the subtitles on, and we should because they had subtitles in the prologue thingy just now. They are on. Okay, so the effects are not subtitled. Fine. Doesn't seem like everything has been shut down. Lounge. Axiom. Explore with us. Oh, wait, 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 what? I was looking at the poster. What did it say about the objectives? Are we trying to find the three people here? 
tenets of cloning. Can we read this? <laughs> this is a really technologically advanced era, wherever we are. Aliens, cloning, apparently. Axiom. Uh, I don't know what that is. Intergalactic fruit? <laughs> Alright. Well, the lights are still on, so that's probably reassuring. Whoa. Hmm. Log? Uh, oh, you mean that probably. Holy jeez. Whoa, I would not want that in space. That just seems way too... If this cracks, the whole ship is done. This seems like a structural weakness right here. Damn. Same. Oh. Monument of the Void. Oh. Sorry. Alright, alright. Sorry, I'm just dropping everything. To the critics of this mission, I say it's not sufficient you voice your concerns of danger or ethics. If you are against progress in this moment, you must acknowledge that our very understandings of biology, chemistry, physics, even religion are thrown into question, and you stand in our way. Silas. That's one of the people here. Hmm, okay. We're gonna go look around and discover what happened to them via these logs, huh? Do we know if they're alive or not? I guess not. Mila! Aiden! In an ideal world, doors would be open. It seems both you and the station don't work as, a, don't work as well as expected. Aiden? It's an old station. I dealt you'll ages gracefully, Captain. If the door won't open, just turn off the power override. So now it becomes a mission for me to find out how to open this door. Alright. You got a cool lounge here. Oh, there's the intergalactic fruit again, along with... Ew, ew, ew! Oh my god, whoa! Trypophobia! Whoa, I have trypophobia! Don't show me that. <laughs> Ooh. Broken glass. That's never a good sign. Especially when no one's cleaned it up. Creatures of the future. You mean of the present? System failure. Ooh. Oh wow, it's like a little metropolis here. Ignis Somnia. Discovered in the Northern Hemisphere wreaths. These fish evolved to integrate bioluminescent bacteria into their, into their scales. Through heredity, offspring will inherit the same color patterns and designs. Ignis Somnia. These fish? Oh, very cool. We don't know what this is. It's being maintained. Swing or drag. Lounge power override. Integrated standalone breaker. Can I just... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, did we have to turn it off and then turn it back on? I don't like this. No. Silas, what inspired this exceptional redecorating? Aiden lost. Final score, Mila 7, Aiden 0. Silas, Mila, Aiden. Mila is the captain, as far as we know. I don't know what the hell they were playing here. What's the technology in this world like? Why do they just have random messages here like that? Are they leaving them here? Or are we just somehow able to contact... Or I just see the previous messages that were set around here. No, I have to... Oh, okay, I get it. It's because we have to shut off the power to the other stuff so that we can get enough power to go through to the other place. Alright, cool. Whoa, whoa! Hey! Mila? Silas? Aiden? Okay, well, they're alive. AR menu. Locate the crew. Find Aiden Vise, Silas Hayes, Mila Lexa. Okay, we have a map here. That's pretty good. Inventory? Wow, even this part is very similar to Tacoma. We had a AR interface as well. Log title. Day one. Oh, we can even see the date when they first said it. Okay. 
dog here? All right, cool, cool. We'll leave it alone for now. Was that the one that we just found earlier? To the critics of this mission. Yes. I say it's not sufficient you voice your concerns of danger or ethics. If you are against progress in this moment, you must acknowledge that our very understandings of biology, chemistry, physics, even religion are thrown into question, and you stand in our way. Are we hoping to make contact with the alien people here? Locker room. Oh. Oh. Missing a work boot. Has anyone seen it? I have, but to claim it, you must first solve my riddle. What tosses and turns through space and time and is located in the dryer? Ah! The boot! <laughs> okay. Storage? But like, I don't understand why... Like, why, are, why is this message here? Because he obviously wouldn't be standing here writing, Hey, has anyone seen my boot? Because the boot is right here. So that part I'm a little bit fuzzy about. It's not a big thing though. Cleaning tools, this side up. There are some really nice details on the... The textures, they're pretty high... They are pretty high quality. But we can't get too close of a look at them. Yeah. Nua? Don't know what it is. Maybe it's something we'll need later, considering how it just fell out of here like that. Sure, the aliens are a bit... Savage, but I see no need to condemn them for it. Think about us. Our people crawled out of a violent past, so I wager they too can change. Don't you? I doubt it. The past is always present. They've been observing the aliens here, so I guess they're saying they're violent because they're in the middle of a civil war right now. It's a locker room here. Suit is signed. S.H. Exofit spacesuit. Suits are only to be used in an emergency, yet they're all gone right now. Is it really that big of an emergency? Aiden? Wait, it should actually be Aiden, right? Because, um, yeah, that's how that name is normally pronounced. Beyond Two Souls kind of drilled Aiden inside my head. <laughs> I guess it's Aiden. Okay. Uh... Oh, wow, they even have the... Is that the shadow, or what? Oh. I see. Yeah, there's a shadow of the, the thing right here. Oh, it's locked now. Nope. Oh. I don't know if it works quite right, though. A place here that we can't go into? Aiden stuff? Oh, it's a lock. We don't know what the combo is, though, so forget about it. This one's just opened, because it is. Complexity of first contact. Philosophy of moral law. What the heck is he building right here? Is that just like perfume? There's the other boot. <laughs> the non-missing one. I have no idea what this is. Some sciency stuff. They have so many locker rooms here, lockers here, but there's only three people aboard. Our security is in your hands. Please don't leave your access bracelet unattended. Access bracelet? If we can get one of those, then maybe we can get around easily too. Do I have a flashlight or anything? Not that I can tell. Ooh. Fire suppressor. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Nothing too crazy here. What does it look like on the map now? Next area? Alright. Ooh, hold on. Let me just check what's around the corner here first. Oh, fuck! Okay, that, uh... Shit. Should I have gone upstairs first? Oh, this is his room. Aiden Vyz. Welcome, Aiden. Do you just assume everybody's Aiden here? He's a kickboxer? Does he do boxing? Huh. Can I do it too? No? That's disappointing. 
Looks like he works out. Okay. Oh! Oh wow, this is the interface. Okay, mail. Mila to Aiden. Aiden, you either possess an incredible work ethic, or you're just an idiot. Frankly, I don't care which. I just want to know what maintenance work was so vital that it had to be done in the middle of the night. That was on their fourth day here. Thank you for being so concerned with what are ultimately my responsibilities. The upcoming service work scheduled had some tight dependencies, and I didn't want to fall behind. Sorry if I disturbed your rest, but with charm like yours, who needs beauty sleep? <laughs> it's like their fourth day here together, but they're already kind of arguing. Jeez. But what does that mean though? What was he doing? Maybe that's a clue. Thera to Aiden. I'm sorry I couldn't speak to you before you left, but I watched the launch, and if it means anything, I'm really proud of what you're doing. It feels like every time I write to you, it's about money. I suppose it's fitting, since that's all we ever argued about during our marriage. Kina is still getting worse, and we need to figure out a realistic plan to pay for her treatment. Be safe up there, Thera. His ex-wife? They have a kid named Kina? Hmm. Messaging. Silas? Most of the systems in the science wing can't start until we're in the lower orbit. Are the calculations complete? Orbital mechanics is one of the more unforgiving types of engineering, Silas. It's not as simple as playing with test tubes and dirt. So in other words, nope. Nope. Science wing. Wow. Seems like a pretty big place here. Locker passcode reminder. When everything looks like a nail, you'll always need a... Hammer. H. H. Okay. Aiden. H. The shape of an H. The passcodes, they're like Android phones. Um, understanding mechanical schematics. There is a hammer right here. I don't think we need to bring it with us though. Yeah. So in the future, they don't even have a computer. This little thing itself is the computer. Damn. Dad fixed my robots. My dad is the best. Dad works in space. Aww. Got some like nerdy motherboard looking stuff up there. <laughs> Okay. Invasion of the aliens. Oh, Jesus, I didn't- Whoa! What? Uh, okay. I don't know what this is. Huh. Hello? What are you doing? I can't jump, so I can't get up on the bed. It's just doing its thing. <laughs> okay, sure. What is this? Are we so far into the future that I can't even tell what any of these objects are anymore? That's wine. Sure. Ooh. If anything happens to me, I'll have... Whatever anyone tells you, please know... No matter what, you need to remember that I love you more than you could know. I'm trying to turn back to the... We can't see the back. Hmm. All the paper here is black for some reason. Ooh, mission calendar. Okay, can we actually have a better look at this? No? All we can see is 17. Payday. So it's past 6 a.m. but before 11 or 1.30 right now. If this thing updates in real time. Which it should if, you know, technology and all. Yeah, t engine stuff. He must be the engineer around here. Making sense of life, stories from beyond. I like how they have a lot of books, but they usually have the same cover, and they just change the, the heading of the book. Kibo will keep dad safe. Oh, that's cute. Again, can't see the back. Nerd stuff. It's all like, all the papers are black and the font is neon. Ooh. Is that like an AR headset? Yeah, I got no idea what's going on in this room. Mechanical load, notification to engineering. Modular actuator. Huh. Okay, yeah, nerd stuff. <laughs> Pretty much. 
pretty much. Waffles. Oh, sorry. Waffles. Waffles never breaks down. It's that guy over there. I'm gonna call him Waffles. <laughs> I never like space. It's cold, lonely, and gives a man too much time to think. Time to think about what you've done and what you shouldn't have. Maybe he's up here to avoid his family. We don't know why he's here. Some people might want to come to space because they like exploring new places, but some people might also come here because they want to avoid what's on Earth. Yeah, lots of, lots of nerd stuff here. That's pretty much it. Cable's just dangerously hanging around here. All right. Ooh, what were you building? Well, this doesn't look like a room. It looks I mean, it doesn't look like a bedroom. It looks more like... I don't know. It's like a work office. Engineering office. So before we move on, we can probably go back to the lock here and check out what's going on inside his locker. Like that. Oh, sh how do you make an H? <laughs> how do you make an H? I want to move the starting... Yeah, because you can't make an H like this. How do you make an H? Hold on. The lines have to connect. And they can't overlap. <laughs> we have a... We have a problem here. No, you know what? I can't do it. No. I can't make an H here. Can I... Maybe... Earlier when I picked up the hammer... I thought I saw a symbol on it, so maybe... Maybe H is not the direct thing we're looking for here. Let's see. Yeah, right at the top. That thing that looks like a boat. How about that? Can we bring that with us? Yeah, let's try that. Ah, okay, so this guy's not as dumb to actually put his real password just in plain text like that. Can I see the back, please? Uh, vaguely remember that? Alright. What is it like? Ah. What's our reward? Win now! Make your dream house come true. Ooh. It's a fancy house. There are some who would benefit from Saito losing their engineering contract with Axiom. Should the Espile encounter a major breakdown on its mission, a lot of money will be transferred to you for your consulting services. Consider this an open offer. Oh. 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 Immediately calling into some questions here. What was this guy doing? His boots. Alright. It seems like that's really the only thing here. Hmm. I mean, what's going on right now would be considered a major breakdown, right? Something to keep in mind. Okay. Where are we now? Oh, we came from this way. Yes, the lounge. We haven't gone up there yet. Around here, we have... Maintenance. Where are the other people's rooms? Whoa, shit. Okay, that... Oh, are there lights? Oh, okay. It just looked really dark here, so I didn't want to come in. Maintenance. Okay. It seems like everything is still sort of half working. Return tools to retrieve ID bracelet. Who's talking? Oh, you. You. Aiden? Hey, I spelled his last name wrong. Aiden took out a bracelet. Oh, are those guns? Oh, shoot. Okay, so that means that Aiden currently is armed. That's... But nobody else is. That's kind of strange. Maintain order in the workplace with guns. 
Are these gun guns or like engineering tools? Not quite sure. Oh, there's one right here. Oh. Oh, we can get his bracelet if we return the tools. Okay, so he's not armed then. It's probably just that he he was sloppy in returning his stuff. We gotta look around for the other tools here. Alright. System failure. Repairs needed. Life support systems in Section A3 are currently offline. Exterior damage detected. Access restricted until maintenance robot is deployed. Oh, okay. Alright. Orbital study. They have a respectable understanding of orbital mechanics, so proficient in fact that we had to adjust our orbit due to the amount of local debris and garbage. Are you talking about the aliens? There it is, the other one. Oh, after reading that thing about how, potentially, this guy, Aiden, might have betrayed everybody here. <laughs> I immediately thought he was armed, but maybe I'm thinking a little too extreme right now. Probably don't want to turn that off just yet. There is the other one. Just one more to go. What can we do with the bracelet again? We can access new areas. Okay. Something's going on here. Crate rack component manifest. There's stuff in here. Stuff in all these. Wait. We can inspect it. Oh. Oh, it's really long. Okay, well, if I ever need anything, I'll be sure to come here and have a look. But for now, I don't think we actually need anything. Oh. If I click on one of the slots. I clicked on an empty one. Let's try one that's not empty. Can you pull it out? Open here. There's random stuff. Probably we'll have to figure out which one of these actually has something, and yeah, we'll get it out. There's the last gun. Huh. Robotic stuff. Magnetic magnet tool station. Okay. There's a lot. There's so much future technology here that I don't know what you actually do with. There we go. Yeah. Now we have his bracelet. Fire suppressor. Ooh. As pile drinking game rules. One drink. Something on board breaks. Two drinks. Silas and Mila show sexual tension. <laughs> Three drinks. Mila tells me to do something. Four drinks. One of the robots acts creepy. Oh, there are robots here. We haven't seen anyone yet. Message sent. Episode 1. The Frisian Factor. He's been drinking here behind the crates by himself. When you have three people and two are showing sexual tension, that's... That's gotta be pretty rough. <laughs> Maintenance robot. Repairs needed. Oh, okay. We probably have to find the, the stuff we need here. E40 voltage regulator. 35 in synapsis fuse. E40, 35. Do we want to fix it? Why not? E40, 35. E40, 35. E40? Oh, we have to look at these symbols here. Uh, it's the one with four dots, and then this one is like... <laughs> I'll try and see if I can recognize them. This is such a bad system though, because it's obviously a puzzle, but it doesn't make sense in the workplace. Because why would you make it this difficult? It's this column here. This column, and then... The third... Oh, third row. Third row. So, fourth, this one. Now oh, we're gonna put it back in. And the E and the other one. 
something 30? Oh, maybe its name was not 30. Okay, hold on. Let me check this one first. Content scan reveals damaged components. Functioning components will glow when not under direct lighting. Which means we gotta turn off the... the light here, so we can actually see. Here. It's kinda scary though, turning off the lights. Nothing bad come up, please. Okay, cool. That one works. Oh shit! What the hell is going on? Haha. <laughs> oh. Oh, um. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but... Maybe we can get some help by fixing this robot here. I didn't even get to see anything besides its shadow, which is a shame. That works. And you also needed a... 35-inch synapsis fuse. Can I get it from the same place? 35 inch? I assume it's inch. Synapses fuse. Synapses fuse. Oh! <laughs> they put the 35 at the back. Oh, there's two. Two different locations. Okay. Uh, geez. Let me see if I can remember this. Two black bars here and then four dots on the bottom. Two black bars. Third. Yeah, that's the third column here. Third. Three one. Three one. Oh. I don't know what that was, but I don't. I don't know if you want to know. Alright. Oh! Did I not get it right? Four dots. Yeah, four dots on the bottom, and then... Yeah, top, bottom... What? Oh. Maybe I need to check the other spot? Okay, it looks like a backwards L. The one that looks like a backwards L. That one. So, this one. You know, my heart is still trying to recover from that. <laughs> we got the parts. We got the parts. <laughs> I, I really don't need this in my life right now. Oh, come on, get in there. Incorrect? Why? How do you know it's damaged? How do I know which one's not damaged? Do I have to turn off the lights again? They're all glowing, though. They're all glowing. Come on, just, just take one and work, okay? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to turn off the lights again. Oh. We can kind of see the outside. That's kind of cool. God damn it. Mm. Do I really have to turn off the lights? I haven't even recovered from the first time yet. It seems like they're all on. The li yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I don't know why you don't accept it. Yeah, all of them were glowing. All the ones that we could see face up. This one we can't... Yeah, if we turn it face up. Am I doing something particularly wrong here, or...? Okay, cool. <laughs> Do you not have legs?
Oh! Find Mila's bracelet. <laughs> Life support systems repaired. Oh, awesome! Awesome! So you're gonna... You're gonna fix it for us, right? Ah, oh, okay. Well, I think that's a pretty good spot to end off for this first look here. I definitely feel like I'm kind of intrigued on finding out what happens next. Oh, but the scary parts, they... They caught me off guard a little bit. <laughs> so far, what I can tell from the first half hour here is that there's obviously some parts about it that are on a tight budget. Like it's an indie game and you can tell. But overall, I feel like they do have a good base for something going on here. Not sure what the rest of it is gonna look like, but I mean, I am intrigued, so I think the hook worked. I think it's pretty cool how they incorporated the plot advancement to the gameplay like that too. The whole segment earlier with how, oh, you gotta figure out which part still works by seeing if it glows in the dark, which means you gotta turn off the lights. But in doing that, you see the big scary monster come out. I'm scared, but I liked how it played out. So that's something. <laughs> Did enjoy my short time playing this, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. And this was Wellens with The Station. And I will see you all in another place in another time. Bye!